Today we're going to be going over slope intercept form. What we're going to learn in this video is we're going to learn what's the formula for slope intercept form. We're going to talk about finding the slope from slope form. We're going to try and find the y intercept from slope form. We're also going to be able to find the equation of a line that is graphed and put it in slope intercept form. First thing we're going to talk about is what is the slope formula? The slope formula is y equals mx plus b. The b in that formula represents the y-intercept, 0 comma b, which is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. On a coordinate plane, this vertical line right here is our y-axis. So wherever our line crosses this vertical line is our y-intercept. The other part of a slope-intercept formula is our m value. As we learned before, m is the slope, rise over run, which tells us the direction the line is headed and the steepness. So we're going to identify what is the slope and what is the y-intercept from these equations. So the first equation we have here is y equals 3x minus 4. Our m value is the number that comes in front of the x, the coefficient in front of the x. So our slope for equation number 1 is 3, or 3 over 1. Our y-intercept is the number that does not have the variable x. So we look right here, our y-intercept for number 1 is going to be, parentheses, 0, comma, negative 4. The next one, our slope, is going to be negative 8. My y-intercept will be 0, comma, negative 1. For number 3, the formula is y equals x plus 2. We have that invisible 1 in front of this x, so my slope for number 3 will be 1. And then my y-intercept will be positive 2. So 0, comma, 2. For number 4, y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. Our slope is going to be 2 thirds. My y-intercept will be 0, comma, 1. Slope for this one will be 9 y-intercept will be 0, comma, negative 3 fourths. This one, it's going to be negative 1 for our slope, positive 7 for our y-intercept. This one, our slope's going to be 8 because it's a coefficient, but there is no y-intercept here. If there's nothing written here, then we could think that there's an invisible 0. So plus 0 here. So my y-intercept is going to be at the origin, 0, 0. This one right here, there's no x. There's no coefficient in front of x. Since there's no x term, our slope is going to be 0. But my y-intercept here will be 9. Okay, the next part, write an equation in slope-intercept form using the following. y equals mx plus b, and they give us our slope, and they give us our y-intercept. So what we're going to do is we are going to put it in this form. We're going to have, for this first one, y equals... 7x plus 10. The second one, I'm going to have y equals 2 thirds x, because our slope comes first, followed by an x, then we have our y-intercept, plus 1. Our next one is going to be y equals 1x minus 9. Or we can write y equals x minus 9. Both of those mean the same thing. Our next one, which is right here, we do not have a slope, so we'll have 0x minus 1 
or you can write y equals negative 1. This one right here also does not have a slope, so we can just put y equals 0. And we've successfully created an equation in slope-intercept form using the given materials. All right. Our final and last thing that we're going to learn in this video today is how to write an equation for a graph. Step one, find two points on the graph. There's one point, here's another point. What you want to find is your m value. What is your slope? Okay, so I need to go up 2, my rise is 2, over 1. So I have rise over 1, so 2 over 1, which is really just 2. So my slope is 2. My y-intercept, my b value, it's where it's going to cross this y-axis right here. Where it crosses is right here at 1. So my b value is 1. This equation is going to be y equals my slope, which is 2x, plus my b value, y equals 2x plus 1. That's the equation for that first graph. Our second graph, we have to use the same steps. First, find two ordered pairs. So there's an ordered pair right here because it hits right at the corner. And there's an ordered pair right here because it hits at the corner. There's another ordered pair here, and here, and here. But we only need to pick two. I'm going to go from right here to here. I need to go down one, so negative one and right 2, so positive 2. My slope is rise over run, so negative 1 over 2. Then I need to find my y-intercept, which is where it crosses that y-axis. This is 0, 1, 2. Crosses it at y equals 2. So my slope is negative 1 half, my y-intercept is 2. And now we're just going to type it into our equation. y equals mx plus b. So y equals negative 1 half x plus 2. And then we're done for today.